Now the next topic that is common and effect and simultaneous solubility. So for that we will understand this concept using a problem that is determine simultaneous solubilities of CuSO4 and BaSO4 and Ksp of CaSO4 and BaSO4 has been given to us. So let us first write the equilibrium equations of CuSO4 and BaSO4. For CuSO4 it would be CuSO4 Cu plus 2 plus SO4 2 minus and similarly for BaSO4 it would be Ba plus 2 plus SO4 2 minus. Now we have been uh, let's say CuSO4 Cu plus 2 molar solubility S1 and for SO4 uh, for BSO4 let's say for BA plus 2 it's S2 so now the solubility of SO4 2 minus would be S1 plus S2 and SO4 2 minus in BSO4 is S1 plus S2 because we will also count the solubility of SO4 2 minus for BSO4 from CuSO4 and similarly for CuSO4 we will also count the solubility from BSO4 that is why it is S1 plus S2. So we can write Ksp of CuSO4 as S1 multiplied by S1 plus S2 and similarly Ksp of BSO4 as S2 multiplied by S1 plus S2. Now if, you d if we divide the Ksp values of these two equations we find that 2 by 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 equals to S1 by S2. Now one can directly see that S2 is less less than S1. So we can write S1 plus S2 as just S1. So in the equation 2 that is Ksp of BSO4 which was 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 which was S2 multiplied by S1 plus S2 we can write this S1 plus S2 as just S1 and S1 is nothing but S2 times 2 by 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 equals to 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 from here S2 comes out to be 1.06 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 and we can also find S1 which was 2 by 1.5 times 10 raised to the power 6 multiplied by S2 S2 is 1.06 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 so that's all about simultaneous solubility students you can see that when we have found a common ion in the two salts we took the solubilities of SO4 2 minus from CuSO4 as well as BuSO4 so and how we solve the problem now moving to common ion effect so now this is the problem for common ion effect that is what is the molar solubility of MgOH twice in 0.1 molar NaOH solution so we can write MgOH equilibrium equation as Mg plus 2 plus 2OH minus and for NaOH we can write this as Na plus plus OH minus. Now we have been given that concentration of NaOH was 0 0.1 molar and in case of MgOH it would be S and 2S. So we can write Ksp for MgOH as as S multiplied by 2S square so it would be actually S multiplied by 2S square where S and 2S are actually the molar solubilities of Mg plus 2 and OH minus. So now you can see the Ksp of MgOH 
square was 7 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 and which is quite low so we will expect that the molar solubilities of MgOH2 would be quite low so we can we, we have to use the common ion effect here and in place of OH minus we'll write the concentration of OH minus which came from NaOH so it would be like 7 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 equals to S times 0 0.1 square and from here we find the solubility as Seven into ten raised to the power minus ten. So here we use the common ion effect for finding the molar solubility of magnesium hydroxide.